Jasmine's already making excuses not to do he some of the workout. I'm like, I'm I, not, it's just, it's easy. You gotta have the right posture and so know, forth. Don't worry, I, Lydia's gonna help you out. We're talking to certified trainer Lydia D. Francesco on the show today. Welcome to the show. Hi. It's great to have you here, Thank Lydia. Thank you for having me. Tell us a little bit about your, your fitness background, first of all. Okay, so I'm a certified personal trainer. I actually got started in, at Good Life doing the body pump class. I was okay. an instructor there. And just fell in love with fitness, fell in love with helping people, and really wanted to make a difference on, on a one-on-one -on -one level. So got my certification and uh, became a trainer. And it's been uh, the past two years. It's been a lot of fun. Excellent. You also yeah. have competed. Yeah. yeah, I did a fitness competition as well, and it came in second place for my category. Which I think we have a photo uh, really of you holding your yeah. trophy. Let's bring that up so we can have a look. So training for a fitness competition. Yeah. I mean, this, a lot of work. You're talking yeah. major nutrition and yeah. look physical. Yeah, that. Exactly. Oh my God. So how Sculpted. many years ago yes, was that? Thank you. That was three years ago. Wow. wow. Yeah. What a trend. So yeah. leading up to that, what, yeah. are you like six weeks of just heavy training? More than six weeks. Really? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you're looking at probably, usually people do 16 weeks of, wow. of prep. And a lot Strict of that is diet. dieting yeah. and uh, and working out at the gym, lifting weights, and uh, yeah. So one on one, uh, yes. do you work at a home gym? Or where do you? I have a with studio clients? space. Okay. Yeah, it's just a private studio where there's uh, myself and a few other trainers, and uh, we all have our own clients. Nice. And so it's very private. Uh, you know, there's not a lot of other people. We're not competing for for equipment and that sort of thing. And um, yeah, so we do do one on one sessions. I do 45 minute sessions. And that's okay. on Main Street. On Main right? Street, yeah. yeah, Main and Lee's, right by Pretoria Bridge. Makes Perfect. a big difference yeah. one on one. It really does. Yeah, You're going to give us some great uh, tips and and habits in particular that that's right. that people should should be using. So yeah, what is tip number one? Tip number one is to drink more water. Right. So I actually brought a water bottle with me. So you can see here, this is actually a, uh, it looks familiar, it's a strange tomato bottle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just <laughs> repurposed it. Yeah. And uh, it's 720 milliliters. So if you drink two of these, you're actually at two liters for the day. Okay. And that's how Which much is, we should be drinking. A yeah. Day. Well, uh, sorry, three of these is two liters. Okay. okay. I recommend one to two liters a day. Okay. Okay. Yeah, in that's terms that's of, less than uh, I thought. I mean, most people yeah. say what, eight glasses a day, and I think yeah. people are sort of overwhelmed when they hear that that's how much they should be drinking. Exactly, yeah. It's really not that much, and, and my tip for drinking more water is to actually just keep multiple water bottles with you, or at various locations. So Great idea. have one at your home, have one in your car, keep one at your workstation, keep one in your purse so you're not lugging the same one around with you. You just have one wherever you happen to be. Well, that's good. Yeah, yeah. good advice. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, you want right. to do a couple of, you're going to do a little circuit with us here yeah. today, so, right? Let's yeah, get one into of the other tips is, is doing some exercise. So one of the things you can do is some squats. I'll do the squats. Okay. okay. Squats, yeah. we're going to actually yeah. do uh, some walking ones. So you're going oh, to really? wow. okay. okay. And then step together. Okay. Step oh, out. I got gotcha. you. Squat. Step together. Look at that. Step out. It's like a dance Squat. move, too. Step together. Yeah. We're going to okay. do break so into a one. Zumba. And you're wearing jeans. And, uh, that's uh, yeah, awesome. good Well, I wore the looser ones. <laughs> nice. You know? Oh, okay. I didn't go you skinny jeans. Yeah. Not that I have. They're the stretchy jeans. Yes. I brought a resistance band. So this is a great tool that people can use uh, at home or traveling. You just step on that. You can do some shoulder presses. Okay. So nice. pressing up. Yeah. So great when you're traveling, throw exactly. that in your bag. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's nice and, and small. And different resistance, I different, guess. There, for, are, there are different ones on the market. Yes, people there can are use. different resistances. Uh, you can do a bent over row. So working in the back. Yeah. Right. And uh, I was going to do, you want to do this with me, Jasmine? Mountain okay. climbers. Okay. Oh, mountain let's climbers. see this, Jasmine. This. So hands, shoulders <laughs> over your wrist. Oh, I know what this okay. is. In a nice plank position, and then you're going to bring your knee to your opposite elbow. And thing? hats off yep. to Jasmine who changed into core. her running shoes <laughs> in a minute and, and a half. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I feel it in my hands. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, so what? So obviously, you're things. working your abs there, exactly. but what else are you working in that kind of exercise? Uh, you're working your core. Right. You also should be engaging the lats, and you're also working your glutes as well. Did you feel all that? Oh, yeah. definitely yeah. core. Yeah, and then yeah. Glutes. It's a good, good, good full body. Work. All right. What else have you got? Uh, so another tip is to eat real food. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. So Nutrition is. I think a lot of people think they can just eat anything and go to the gym and that's going to make up for it. Is yeah, that a bit so of a much. misconception? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, not, yeah. not so much, not so Derek. Much. Yeah. yeah, no, nutrition is, is absolutely key. They, they do say it's the 80% nutrition, 20% uh, exercise. Well, what percentage you know, it actually is is, is uh, up in the air, but it's pretty close, yeah. Right. You're, you're eating, you can't out-train a bad diet is, uh, is what's often said. So... Yeah, you've got so to balance. eat real food. Good balance exactly. Yeah. So try and have food that has like as minimal ingredients as possible. Okay. Right. If you think about meat, fruits, and vegetables, that doesn't even have ingredients. It's the only. How thing. do you feel about calorie counting? Do you think um, that that it's 
can be helpful yeah. for sure, absolutely. Uh, because you want, if you want to lose body fat, you want to be in a caloric deficit. Okay. Um, so it is good to kind of know it can become an obsession. Yeah, so you want see to be that, careful that's with the that. issue. Is that it can exactly. An yeah, you just want to be careful. But it is good to know a lot of times people don't know how much they're eating. Right. And actually, a lot of times people undereat. Oh, oh really? really? Yeah, which then I causes the problem. body to. <laughs> <laughs> but you're right. Yeah. I mean, people think dieting, yeah. you know, is just starting to starve yourself. Yeah, exactly. that, that, that's dangerous. Wrong. Exactly. I mean, you, you, yeah. would, you don't recommend you that. What about be, supplements? Yeah. Where do you stand on supplements? Uh, honestly, a lot of it's just a waste of money. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I'm if glad you, to hear that. Yeah. Actually. If you eat real food, you can usually get all the nutrients you need. Um, uh, another tip you have is yeah. sleep. The sleep. importance of Absolutely. sleep. Absolutely. People underestimate sleep. Yes. Uh, it affects your hormones. And so a lot of times if you're not getting enough sleep, then you actually, it changes your hormones so that you feel more hungry and you feel less full, which then makes you eat more. Hmm. Right? Okay. So that makes sense. Yeah. A great tip for getting, uh, getting more sleep is to establish a bedtime ritual. Okay. So maybe you have a cup of tea and, uh, and read a book in bed or you have a bath. Something that you do kind of the same every day around the same time. And get that get your eight body hours, in a right? groove. Yeah, okay. seven to eight hours seven a day. Seven to eight hours. Exactly. Yeah. So anything else so, you want to yeah. show us today? Yeah. Uh, no, but I want to tell you about a boot camp that I'm running. Oh, yes. Okay. Six-week boot camp It's a six-week boot camp. Starts April 2nd, and it's uh, twice a week, Mondays and Thursdays at lunchtime, 11.45 to 12.30. Okay. It's at the White House Movement Studio on Nepean and Bank Street. And how do people register? And people can register on my website, fithealthy365.com. Excellent. Thank yeah. you so much for joining us, Liddy. Thanks so really, much for really having me. Really appreciate it. You're going to do yes. that circuit now yes. when yeah, at home? Because you can do it from home. That's the yeah. beauty of it. Don't go exactly. away. We'll be back uh, talking uh, to Laura Williams, as a matter of fact, social media, how to use it properly, and the importance of having a good website. We'll be back with Laura right after this. Thanks, thanks.